What's up guys? Ken Raven here coming at you with another video today. Good morning everyone. I hope everybody's having a good morning. I want to do an updated collection video of my Phoebus, Phobus, however you want to say it, watches. Okay. The, my Phoebus watch collection video was the very first watch collection video that I've done. And there's been some changes and stuff like that. So I want to redo it. Plus, it was before I got some of my equipment. So it's using just an old stand and it wasn't the best. So hopefully this will be a lot better in quality. Uh, uh, collection video video. So, before we flip this camera around and check out my Phoebus watch collection update video, let's do a quick wrist check. Right now, I'm wearing the Spinnaker Dumas, the gray with the orange pop of color. I have it on a hexagon strap code bracelet. This came originally on a mesh strap. The mesh strap is outstanding, but... It's just a little too long for my wrist. I've got about a six and two thirds inch wrist, and it was just so much hanging off once I get it got it adjusted. So I put it on this hexagon strap coat, and it is outstanding. I love the way it matches with the angles of the case itself. So let's flip this camera around and check out the updated video of my Phoebus watch collection. Okay, guys, so this is my Phoebus watch collection now, okay? So, I'll do a quick overview, and since I've got some new tools in and gear for my channel, we'll do some rough measurements so you get sort of an idea of these watches. Let's start with my first one. This is my... Phoebus Wavemaster Mother of Pearl Dial. I love the Wavemaster. It's an outstanding dive watch. It's got this really great engineered style bracelet. It's very solid. The bracelet doesn't taper, and I love that and everything. It feels solid all the way around. So, if we're looking at this Wavemaster Mother of Pearl Dial with gilt indices... We can sort of see that we're looking at a 42 millimeter watch that is roughly 14.4 millimeters thick, weighing it at 199 grams. So that is the Phoebus Wave Master. Next, we have the Phoebus Voyager 2. This is the brown dial. I love the Voyager. I love how it has this embossed bezel. Love it. Outstanding bracelet. It's kind of like uh, beads of rice, but not really the rice. They're more smooth and polished, but it's outstanding. Love it. If we take a look... At the measurements on this, we're looking at right at a 39 millimeter watch that is roughly 14 millimeters thick and weighing in at 160 grams on the bracelet. That's the Phoebus Voyager. 2.0. Now, this is my Eagle Ray compressor style dive watch. If you like the compressor style dive watches, the Eagle Ray is like the best one out there in my opinion. I love this watch. Screw down crowns, both of them for the inner rotating bezel or to set the time. It's got this great bracelet, sort of like a, you know, five-link bracelet, and it's outstanding. I love the Eagle Ray. So, 
Let's get some measurements. This is the green. So it's like a fumade green. It starts light in the center and goes to a really dark green, almost black around the edges. <clears throat> Excuse me. So if we're looking at this watch and do a measurement right here, you're looking at a 41 millimeter watch, basically. If, depending on where you hit the angle, it's right at that 41. Okay, with a 13.7 millimeter thickness coming in at 159 grams. So that is the Eagle Ray Compressor Dive Watch. All right, now this is the big boy. This is the bronze limited edition Leviathan. This has the open heart design, the old school loom. This is a fully bronze case watch, okay? This is the green. They had a green, a blue, and a black. Right now, this is a green. It's got the black bezel. So I'm running it just on a test run on this black single piece canvas strap but it does come with this green leather strap with bronze buckle okay so on the leather it's going to be just slightly more than this canvas strap but not by much as far as weight but this is a fully bronze watch all right let's take a look we're looking at a 45 millimeter watch that is without that strap you're looking at a thickness of 15.3 millimeters and on this canvas strap it's coming in at roughly 166 grams on the leather, it would be just slightly higher and everything than the canvas strap. So you're looking at probably about 170 grams if it was on the leather. All right. So next is my Phoebus Apollo white dial. The Apollo is outstanding. This is a all titanium watch. Titanium case, titanium bezel, titanium crown, titanium bracelet, titanium clasp. Everything is titanium on this watch. And it's a actual sandwich dial as well. So you've got the loom and then the cutout white dial on top of it. It's got that retro space theme. I love it. Some people don't like the styling of it. I love the Apollo. It is an outstanding titanium watch. So let's do a quick measurement. Okay. We're looking at a 41 millimeter watch. Okay. 41 millimeters with a thickness of 12.4 millimeters thick. Okay with a weight of 125 grams on a full metal bracelet. So that titanium shows you that you're getting the weight reduction from the material. I love the way the Apollo wears, okay? It wears much smaller than the actual watch is. Okay. This is a newer addition to my collection. I managed to find on the secondary market the PX002C. This is the Swiss, uh, uh, Swiss Ronda movement. Okay, so it's quartz. And it's sort of like when they did their, like, um, subby homage and everything you could sort of say it's not really a subby homage but it's got the mercedes hands 
it's got similar uh, uh, coinage, well, uh, well, scalloped edge. It's just an awesome looking quartz watch. So this is the PX002C quartz Ronda movement watch. Let's get a couple of measurements on this thing. All right, we are looking at a 42 millimeter on the bezel because the bezel sticks out a little bit past the case itself. So 42 millimeters and we're looking at 12.5 millimeters thick. Okay. And on the bracelet, it is 163 grams. So this is my only quartz Phoebus watch. The rest are automatics. Okay, so it's my grab-and-go quartz watch in my collection, my, my grab-and-go quartz diver, I should say. I've got another quartz watch that is not a diver, all right? And then the next is the Phoebus Kraken. This is the champagne dial. Okay, they have several different colorways, but this is one of their newer releases, and it is the Champagne Dial Kraken. I love this sort of like uh, redesigned uh, beads of rice style bracelet. It's made to look where the beads are more like Kraken scales and everything. It's awesome. It's got the not only the micro adjust right here but it's got the adjust on the fly to where you can do like a uh, it's like a wetsuit adjustment but you can just click it just one out and give you a little bit relief if your wrist has swollen during the day so that adjust on the fly is really nice i like that Really nice, deep embossed case back with the Kraken. So let's do a quick measurement of the Phoebus Kraken. Okay, so this watch is running, basically, we're looking at a 42 millimeter watch. Okay. With a thickness of 12.7 millimeters. And on this bracelet, this watch is 181 grams. All right, so that is my updated Phoebus collection video. Wavemaster Mother of Pearl, Voyager 2.0, and the brown dial. Eagle Ray Compressor in the Green Fume. The Limited Edition Bronze Leviathan. That comes with the leather bronze strap. The Titanium Apollo White Dial. The PX002C Swiss Ronda quartz movement in the black sort of like subby design and the champagne dial cracking let's flip this camera around and we'll wrap up this updated phoebus collection video so guys what did you think about my phoebus collection and how it is now i would love to hear your thoughts Go check out my first Phoebus collection video, and you can sort of compare between the first one and the second one. Just let me know and everything if you'd like to see more watch collection or more watch videos. I'd be glad to help you out and everything. If it's something that I can do, I'd be glad to do it. I'm going to put a video up here that I think you would like. I'll probably link my first Phoebus watch collection. And I'm also going to put up the playlist to my watches playlist so you can check out all my watch videos. 
there'll be a little shield arms watermark just click that and you'll automatically be subscribed i really do appreciate it please comment like share and subscribe it really does help the channel guys and i appreciate all of you watching follow me on instagram at shield arms y'all be safe out there i'm king raven and i'll catch you in the next video